Hello, all you amazing people, and welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to talk about DPDR and will things get better? It's a massive question that people have asked me a lot, and I've seen it asked a lot. Do things just get better with DPDR? Are they always going to be like this, or are they actually going to get better? Is there actual hope? In this video, I'm going to answer those questions. And for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Dan. And for those of you that are subscribed already, then welcome back. I do help people overcome their anxious thinking and overcome their DPDR so they can get themselves and their life back. Let's get straight down to it. Is this going to end? Is this going to be forever? The answer to that is no, this will not be forever. And yes, it will end eventually. You have to think of it as a recovery and it's 100% possible to recover from a DPDR. Now I know right now that might seem like an utter, utter impossibility because you have been hit by this thing really hard. Your life has changed so much now. Perhaps you're not thinking the way you used to think or you're thinking differently to how you used to think and you're not enjoying the same things. You know, all those awful symptoms are coming up. So of course, right now, it does feel like there is no hope. There are many, many ways that you can recover from DPDR and it's not one single thing. Sure, you can just do one single thing, but if you have like a, a massive toolbox of things and if you have an army of things which are gonna sort of lift you up and rise you up and let you be able to overcome this, then it's all these sort of little things combined together which are gonna make a big difference. And so some of these things are, you know, you can sort of practice uh, grounding techniques to feel, make you feel more in the moment. You can change any negative or bad habits that you've got. You can change your diet. You can do exercise. You can sort of look at some of the questions you're asking yourself and sort of break out of the, the pattern of doing that. You can change your thinking and change your thoughts to switch from it's not possible to it is possible. And you can do acceptance, which is not accepting that you have DPDR. No one should accept that but just accepting that right now life's a little bit crap and sure you're going through a few bad things right now. So be kind to yourself, go easy on yourself, accept the fact that the you that you want to be isn't here right now. And if you're just really lamenting and really wanting to get back to that fun, energetic, cool, charismatic, you know, excellent person that you were before, then that's all that's going to do is upset you. It's going to anger you and frustrate you because right now, that person is still there, but something else is sort of on top of that, stop it, stopping that from, from coming out at the moment. So once you do sort of accept that, or maybe a better word is come to terms with it, once you've done that, then it's going to allow you the breathing space to realize, all right, I'm not where I want to be. I'm not the cool person I used to be right now. That person is still in there. They will definitely come back but let's have an assessment of where I am right now. And that's really the deciding and important thing here is where are you right now? Not where were you, where are you right now? And where do you want to be? And when you can sort of wrap your right mind around that and start to focus on that a little bit more, then that is really going to sort of lift you up because you're not going to be so sad and depressed about all the things that you used to be, which you can still be again, it's just going to make you sort of manage your expectations a little bit more and be a little bit more honest to where you are right now. This is also going to help you when it comes to the thing of, is it possible to get out of this? Is it ever possible to, to move on from this? Because when you accept where you are, then you're going to realize, okay, well, this is where I am. That's where I want to be. And that whole notion of thinking where you want to be is going to sort of help you think about the future. It's going to help you think about the things you need to do to recover. And that, of course, is going to ultimately let you realize that it is possible to overcome this thing. And this thing isn't going to be forever because your mind has shifted in that direction. One of the best ways to overcome the anxious thinking and the DPDR, which comes along with that, and all the symptoms which come along with that, is through some kind of talk therapy modality whether it is, you know, seeing a therapist, a psychologist, a psychiatrist, a counselor, or me, I do coaching and I help people through their DPDR using coaching techniques. This is generally the best way of sort of moving on and overcoming this. And the reason that is, is because you can do all the exercise you want. You can have the best diet in the world. 
you can take all the meds that you want, but this type of thing isn't actually going to change how you think. And the important thing when it comes to DPDR and anxious thinking is that it's thinking it's thoughts once you do start talking to someone or even if you're not talking to somebody professional it could be your friend or a colleague or whoever just once you start to get all this stuff off your chest and and just start to speak about it and and really sort of unravel it and you know get all the the tied up string and start laying it out straight so you can see sort of what goes where and you're like oh yeah I like that bit I'll keep that oh no I don't want that I'm going to throw that little bit away and once you start doing all that, which obviously talking about it is the best way to do it, then you are going to find that the things that perhaps make you anxious right now aren't going to make you anxious anymore because you've processed it and you've sort of talked about it. And of course, when the anxiety starts to go, the DPDR starts to go and all the crappy symptoms that come along with the DPDR also start to go. So to take you right back to the beginning of the video, is this thing going to be forever? No, it's not going to be forever. Is it possible to recover? Yes, it is possible to recover. Can you live life without DPDR and any of the symptoms affecting you ever again? Yes, it is completely possible to do that, but you need to start to put in place the, the steps to start to get there. If you want more details about recovery or what to do or who, who to talk to or you know, some ways of thinking and stuff like that, then check out a lot of the other videos I've done because they are all about this exact stuff. They're about recovery plans, how to recover, what to do, you know, the best ways to recover, how, how talking to somebody helps and some of the other symptoms and why you're experiencing those and what to do about it. So really go through and check out some of those videos, which ones resonate to you, because that's going to educate you. And the more education that you've got, the more you're going to be able to realize that this isn't going to be forever and it is possible to overcome it. So you amazing people, I hope you've learned a little bit from this video and I hope you've liked it. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.